hi guys welcome to my youtube channel um if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and if you are returning to for another exciting tutorial um thanks for staying with me so in today's look i'm going for a cut crease a colorful cut crease i'm going to show you how i do my cut crease and how it is done i will be for my cut crease i am going to use that dark paper um this is a p louise palette i love this palette really nice there we go look at the packaging so i will be going in with that with paper and that's the brush i'm using it's a, uh, a flat so it's a um, um, fluffy brush. See? So I'm setting that there. Use the tapping motion, please. Just tap in. Tap it in. There we go tap it in i have got extremely hooded eyes so when i'm doing my cut crease i cut up there so when doing the cut crease i have to if you can tell where my eyeball is kind of ending right there that's where my cut crease is going to um, be lined I will then use that orange to blend out that area so i will be using that orange so i'm just doing the edge with um, a light hand so you don't have to put you don't have to hold this firmly and press it on just just use a li light stroke sorry lightly just to blend out the edge so that it doesn't give you that hush line I'm just doing that edge take your time blend it until it it doesn't show any um, line like it's not showing whether the paper one and the where the paper one is ending and where the orange one is starting so just take your time and blend it I'm going to use um, P. Lewis base um if you don't have this one you can use a lego pro concealer in the shade fawn that's how i dabbed it there i have to use my brush yeah then i'm going to look down and start cutting when creating a cut crease just take your time and you you need to um, study your eyes so you can try um, cutting a cut crease probably lower than where i have started and if not you can if it doesn't look nice go up i think that was my secret of which cut crease kind of looks nice on me at first i was doing really tiny one but then i realized it's not for my kind of eyes so just practice till you find which cut crease goes well with your eye shape with the shape of your eyes i am now going to take that um shimmery color it's a bright color i prefer having this at the front right there a bright color if i'm doing a cut crease
So you use the pot in motion. I will then, from that palette, the same palette, I will then go in with that yellow. Yep. For the cut crease area, I am using a very flat brush, the one that I use for my um, concealer shaping the eyebrows. I will then use a fluffy brush with a small brush I'm just going to blend that area give it a light stroke very very light so that you don't see where they um, the shimmery cream color is ending and where the yellow color is starting yeah i'm then tapping in the paper and starting from there taking it inwards i need to dab in the i'm going to dab in the yellow to clean the edge there to make it you know that to make that straight line to make it <laughs> clean i am using my foundation morphe and with the flat brush i used for my for shaping my eyebrows i will just make a line right there going like that And then blend it out. I'm not putting my Morphe foundation on my face, my whole face. I'm now going to use my concealer to highlight the areas. I have highlighted my face and have contoured it for highlighting and contouring please um, check the other video that I posted um, it's titled I think full makeup tutorial uh, beginner friendly so in that video there are details on how I contour highlight and everything and now just going to use my usual bronze um, by collection
because I've got so much color going on around my eyes, I will go for a nude lipstick. Nude glossy lips. And we're all done for this look um let me know what you think about it don't forget to comment and to leave a comment and um yeah please don't forget to subscribe as well